everyone. Welcome to Algonquin for our next edition, Nyan Cat Lost in Space. So you played this game more than I did. What did you uh, think about this game? Other than it's Nyan Cat. Nyan Cat. Nyan Cat. Nyan Cat. Uh, I thought it yeah, for I think it was like a five dollar game, something like that. Yeah, it, it like for a five dollar game, it's all right. Hmm. I mean, cool. I like it. Yeah, I thought it was pretty sweet. Um, pretty much, you're like a shooting cat, and you're like bouncing from platform to platform. And there's what's neat is the different uh, power ups are like you know slow down the music, yeah, speed up the yeah, music. Yeah, yeah. Now, yeah, it's all coming back to me now. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, it was a, it was a, it was an alright game. It was I, fun. I don't know if I could play that level after level, but yeah, it, it was one, pretty it's casual. One of those games that it's, more it's, than anything else we've it's played super recently. Casual. You, you just play like once to lose yourself in it, and then just not, not toss it away, but like you know, play it when you're bored and you have finished yeah, your exams and you're too you have, tired like, to so think. So many other games you want to play too. So like, um, yeah. So it's one of those games, but it's, uh, it's one of those games that they're not. It's not a. It's not a uh, game you'll be coming back to every so often, but it will be a game that you'll be. Coming I think back it's to. one of those gimmick games. Like, I think it's kind of like uh, what was the other game we played? Um, the beat 'em up. Ooh. Yes. Uh, Kung Fury. Kung Fury. I kept thinking like Karate was Kid or the, something. Uh, it was the one where we were. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause like if it wasn't on rails, I think you would play it more. But because it wasn't even on rails, it was more like a uh, Dance Dance Revolution. Yeah, meets. Uh, meets Final Fight. Yeah, meets Final Fight meets like a brawler. That's what I was thinking. Beat him up. Yeah. I was thinking. I almost did like first person shooter. I'm like, wait, that's not right. <laughs> yeah. It was close to what I wanted to say. But no, I thought it was neat. Um, It's a cool game. I think it's a lot more approachable than a lot of the other games we played recently, like I Am Brad and uh, Mount Your Friends. Oh, oh yeah, definitely better controlling than... uh, It seemed more fine-tuned. They were made to have weird controls. Yeah. You should try uh, QWOP. Oh, yeah? Co-op or whatever. Co-op? Yeah, because it's like you have to you have to play with like your two fingers on Q and W, and then the other one is over on a O and P. I think for a game for five bucks, I think it's definitely one of those games that you couldn't really play in a party, like the other ones. Um, but it's one of those. I think you just play for a few minutes. I can't think of a, the perfect context for it. I guess maybe if you're just bored or you're a huge fan of you know the meme, yeah. then I nah, think. Nah, 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 nah. No, no, yeah, exactly. No, no, no. Like you play for fun, not 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 for like. Imagine that competitively. We were talking yeah. about competitively fighting games like Pokemon tournament and. Yeah, someone is actually starting to start a uh, competitive scene in Ottawa. Yeah. Before the game's even out, even. Yeah, I find that pretty funny. It's like. Ninja <laughs> DLC. After Ninja DLC. Yes, he. Everyone would choose him. It would be like the original Smash sixty four. Like, I don't know if it's true, but I heard like. Pikachu's OP in the original oh, one and oh, Captain yeah. Falcon he, and he is OP. Uh, yeah. Pikachu's OP. So Ash is Pikachu and then Ash is Greninja. Yeah, that's what we're missing out on. I mean But yeah, um it's a cool game. I th- I thought it would be like sort of a fun week. Kind of Mario Maker. <laughs> yes, that's what you really want. Um, what else? What would be something that you wouldn't imagine as being competitive? competitive Pokemon t- puzzle league. Co- you, I don't know. I can see that being competitive because it's a puzzler, right? Okay. Right? Like uh, Tetris? Well, how about competitive RPGs? Because yeah. Competitive it. Breath of Fire or competitive Final Fantasy? Competitive mm. Dragon Quest. But I guess that would be MMO. Yeah, Dragon Quest. Or competitive Undertale. Like, let's see who can beat the boss faster. <laughs> I'm trying to find a perfect game. It's a shame. I can't think of a, a, a game that's so not lent to competitive play. Competitive. Beyond like RPGs. Oh, man. Like chess. Competitive chess. Well, technically. Everyone signs up for battle chess every week. Yeah. Battle chess 613. <laughs> Something like that. Or, like or what would be other crazy? No, actually, Mario Kart would work. South. Yes. Oh, that's the strategy game, right? On uh, Nintendo, yeah. Yes, oh my gosh, that game. That game is so programmed, strangely. 
I tried to uh, find codes, and oh my Compared gosh. Competitive romance of the free kingdoms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who can win the most bread in a 24-hour period? Extra life romance of the three kingdoms. One on Nintendo. Go. <laughs> or a competitive battle toad play. Lube OP, <laughs> please nerf. Competitive Contra. Competitive uh, Mario Brothers. Yeah, well, I mean, there was competitive Donkey Kong Country. Competitive Zelda. Yeah, again, that's RPGs. I'm trying to move away from that. I'm trying to think of, like, a game that's... Other than Contra, which is, like, totally not... I got an idea. Competitive Marvin's Mitten. Oh, my God. (laughs) No, that's just wrong. Who can get the furthest without being told, Marvin? (laughs) Yeah. I just don't see that being as a competitive. That's a competitive rad racer, which I think actually was a th- thing. I know in Nintendo Power they had points and like, yeah. What's another game? The com- competitive Sonic. Video Armageddon. <laughs> competitive Postal. That would be interesting. Yeah. Or competitive hatred. Yes, competitive <laughs> hatred. Yes. <laughs> now how we're ma- cooking. Now how we're cooking. How many cops did you take out? Or competitive Wolfenstein or competitive Doom. I mean, that well, would be Justin. Yeah, but... Uh, Anyways. How about a competitive... Uh, uh, bowling. <laughs> competitive Wii Sports. Yeah. I, I would so do that just for the heck we'd of it. Be, yeah, we'd have to... I think that will be our thing. We'll have to do... We have to find the stupidest weird games and make like them as... Like competitive Wii Sports. Like... No, 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 no. Just as competitive Naruto Ultimate Ninja. No, 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 no. Here we have oh, random anime character that was in the background, number 37, but he's Com- OP as fuck. Competitive Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Yeah, that'd be like... Here, while you like, think of that, I'm going to be right back. I'm just going to make sure... Uh, okay, so here's how I think competitive uh, Chip Chippendale Rescue Rangers would... Oh be. my gosh, really? Be like, people are in team. Are we going there? And... Competitive Dodgeball. If you can dodge a bullet, you can dodge a that ball. Competitive Spy Hunter. I mean, I've heard of tournaments. I played Spy arcade. Hunter. It was a really fun game. I love it. Yeah, but I mean, it's. Uh, I'm trying to find a really good game. Competitive Netflix. <laughs> Netflix. Stomach as many asylum films as you can. How oh many short needles can you go through before you call it quits? Man, I think I still think competitive six one three battle chess is hilarious, just because it's just so out there. If or you like want, I could make the group for six, it. We six, will do it. Six one three six back. Six one three battle chess. Six one three checkers competitive checkers. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> 613 competitive bridge. <laughs> or 613 where's Waldo competitive scene. Yeah. <laughs> we could go... E- 613 wait, wait, wait. competitive my kids. Competitive poker night at the inventory. <laughs> uh, who, can, who can... You know what would be the worst competitive game, I think? What? Competitive Back to the Future 2 and 3 on Nintendo. Because that game is uh-huh. so hard... That no one would want to play after like two tries. Jaws. Yeah. I've played Jaws. The remake or the original on Nintendo? Oh, okay. The on NES where it's like. The hilarious part is if you, I don't remember what you hack, but if you, there's a way to like start the game and you face Jaws straight away if you hack a few memory addresses, Uh. and it's hilarious because like normally it takes a long time to like get to that point. Yeah. So you like uh, you. you Swim, you have to actually get a level high enough to take him on. Yeah. So, I mean, it's hilarious because, like, you can beat the game in, like, 20 seconds. Yeah. And back then, like, that would have been, like, oh, my gosh. Hours and hours. Or an hour for me. Because yeah. Use a cheat code that lets or, me like, competitive myself. rock and roll racing or competitive, like, stunt race effects or... Yeah. Uh, yeah, those aren't as good. Uh, I still think Battle Chess 613 is pretty cool. Shit, there was a really good competitive game I was thinking of that would be totally competitive Hong Kong 97. <laughs> what? There's this SNES game called Hong Kong 97. <laughs> it, it is horrible. It oh is my gosh. Scary. It was, it's like the worst game you can ever play. Competitive Who Frames Roger Rabbit? <laughs> competitive. Clue. <laughs> 613 Clue. Six one free no scope. Uh, competitive. Six one free competitive. Uh, Gauntlet. Space war. 
There you go. No. Six point three competitive ET. <laughs> oh my god, no. Two. Uh competitive Frogger. Wait, and every year, as part of a new tournament, we all go to New Mexico. <laughs> Actually, they already dug, dug up all that stuff. They're trying to sell on eBay. Last I heard. Yeah, but all those we, cartridges we go back and boxes. To the burial ground. We set up all the TVs there, and then we play the tournament. Right I don't know the how ground. far they went. I think they went a few feet at least. I think they probably found as much as possible. But, anyways, did you did you want to uh, talk about the game of the week? Just because it's getting a little bit long here. I think we did talk about the game. Of no, the but week. like, did you? <laughs> no, but yeah, it was good. Mm hmm. But compared to the other games, I thought like it was pretty easy to get into. I think it's probably the easiest game we've played just to sit down and play for like a month or two. Yeah. It's, yeah. About a month or two, and then you just toss it into the archives with the rest of your Steam games that you got for five that's, bucks. That's right. Yeah. Except for Super Hot, which is, is like $30. You probably get more bang for your buck than uh, Super Hot. Yes, so that's what I was just saying. Bucks. Yeah. Super that's a little hot. bit harder to do, Super but. Hot. <laughs> Anyways, we probably don't want this to go for too long, so yeah, there is one mention. Yeah, name some some six, more competitive. Yeah, uh, six one free competitive business model. Dick Tracy. Oh. Microsoft is beating Konami in how much of a dick they can be to their uh, developers. It's now about e penises apparently this week. Yeah, it'd be like Microsoft is fucking over. Six one three Pinocchio for Super Nintendo. See how many points you can collect. That would be an awesome thing. See who can kill the Coachman the fastest. Alice in Wonderland. Or no, Wizard of Oz Super Nintendo Competitive Edition. That actually came out, Wizard of Oz. I think it's pretty rare that if you ever get the cartridge, it's pretty rare. Uh, six one free competitive Castlevania 64. Six one free competitive High Glide. Oh, gosh. Six one free competitive Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I still think competitive Pokemon Snap, which we mentioned earlier with Justin. That would be good. That would yeah. be funny because, like, you can get so many funny photos in that Pick game. the least competitive Pokemon game out there. Make it competitive. That's probably that's it. That's our challenge this week. Find the least competitive Pokemon game there I think is. that's got to be it. Make it the most competitive you can make it. Try and find some sort of competition. Competitive Pokemon Take the worst Major. photo. Yeah, or take the and worst Pokemon photo. Snap. Competitive Pokemon Go. Yeah, you have to. The more air miles you get, the better. Yeah. Because you'd be traveling around the world a lot. No, you know, it, it, at one point you're gonna have Pokemon Go with AR goggles and. Oh my gosh. See, you're playing see, it, jumping see, out of a parachute. Uh, airplane, airplane in a parachute. A giant uh, Pidgeot. Oh and my you gosh! Climb into the Pidgeot and get to see all of its organs while you sit inside its heart. Hey, I had a friend at work. He's like, I got two. <laughs> What, Pidgeons or Fijis? I don't remember what he said. The Pokemon like that. He's like, I got two. It's been, it's a good day so far. I'm like, okay. <laughs> but no Pikachus. No Pikachus. Yeah, Pikachus it. Anyways, we're going to probably wrap it up because yeah. I don't think there's anything more to say about this game. Um, if you like the music of Nyan Cat, then yes, you should buy this game and you're going to get hiccups, man. So, yes, we recommend that and any other competitive game you want to make competitive. Hmm. Six <laughs> one free fanfic. I have one. Nyan Cat Grumpy Cat OTP. We just need a Grumpy Cat game to, to you know, Ship cover. Together. Yes, that would be neat. I don't know how that would work. Anyways, I think we should wrap this up here. Yep, let's do We're it. rambling. All right. Keep on gaming, guys. Adios, See you guys. next week. And keep Bye. on smiling. <laughs>